Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to briefly compare two different video recorders for you guys. One of which is OBS, or Open Broadcaster Software, a free open source alternative. And then there's Camtasia Recorder, which is part of the larger Camtasia Studio 9 package. So first off, I want to point out that there is a huge price difference between these two applications. First off, Open Broadcaster Software, it's a permanently free application, and I believe it's open source as well. Uh, you can definitely pick it up on a multitude of different systems, Mac, Windows, and Linux. Camtasia 9, including the recorder, is available for $199, which is kind of pricey, but if you consider that you're getting a full video editor in addition to that, it's actually not too unreasonable. Most video editors are not cheap. Camtasia 9, also only available on Mac and Windows, so Linux users are going to be kind of up a creek without a paddle there. But this video is just going to focus on the recording capabilities of the two programs. So first off, inside of Open Broadcaster Software, you can add in different sources. So if I want to add in, like let's say a game capture, I would right click, go to add, and choose game capture, which can capture full screen game applications video capture devices, which would be things like webcams, window captures, if I want to record one specific window, like a web browser, or URL-based sources, which could be things like Twitch alerts, where messages will pop up on screen while you're live streaming to Twitch. So there's a lot of different ways you can actually bring in video content into OBS so that you can record. A lot of different options there. Inside of Camtasia Recorder, you can add in webcams very easily. You just click on this list and you pick the one you want and you can configure it with FPS and uh, resolution. And you can also choose your microphone, of course. Uh, once again, a drop down. System audio, always there by default, but you can also disable that if you choose. But in terms of the actual video that you're recording, Camtasia Recorder is much more focused on screencasting. So you could, of course, record a game because you can record the full screen area. And you can record custom sections on your screen. So if I want to record just one corner of the screen, you can do that just as easily as you could within OBS. But you can't specify specific video sources. So if you want to only record a game uh, that maybe is full screen, but you don't want it to record when you accidentally alt-tab out of that game, you can't do that in Camtasia. It's always going to record the section of the screen that you define. So in OBS, you can have multiple video sources. So you could have one screen over here. You could add in a different screen. Uh, you could have, once can have the game capture where it only picks up a full screen game or a game of your uh, basically designation. So if you're playing Hearthstone, you could just go in here, type in Hearthstone, and as long as Hearthstone's currently open, you can specify a specific window. So that could be Hearthstone right here from the drop-down list. Another really big advantage of OBS is that OBS does actually support live streaming. So we could go into settings here. You can stream to Twitch, also YouTube, and several other services that are out there. I would definitely say in terms of the number of settings and hotkeys and advanced tools that you have available, OBS also gives you more options, though I could see that being a little bit confusing for the typical user as well. Okay, so let's now talk about some of the advantages of Camtasia Recorder. First off, you can add in system stamps and captions very easily. The captions do have to be manually added in, so if you have a script loaded up, you can add that into your video. But the timestamps are automatic. You can add in date time, which is enabled by default. You can add in date time, which is enabled by default. Or you can add in elapsed time. Um, basically, regardless of what you choose, you can customize how you want that to show down here in the preview area. And you would do that using the time date format section. Now, when you're recording in Camtasia, you do have a pretty nice countdown effect. So it's going to show you 3, 2, 1, and then it's going to start recording. If you had a full screen recording here, you wouldn't see these uh, basically corners of the window. Note that while it's actually recording, you can drag this around. So if you need to focus on a different corner of your screen, you could do that. Or you can move it over to a different monitor. But what I really like about Camtasia Recorder is if you hit Control shift d it's going to pop open the screen draw tools. So if you ever wanted to be able to draw on the screen while you were talking, Camtasia actually has this out of the box, whereas OBS doesn't. 
So you can select one of these tools, customize them, start doing things like drawing circles. Uh, also, there's hotkeys for it, so if I wanted 8 thickness, I just hit 8 on the keyboard, 1 to make it less thick. You can hit F to change it to a square frame, E to change it back to an ellipse. And whenever you're done with that screen draw session, you can just hit Control shift d again, or click on this button over here. Um, now this basically panel is optional whether you want it to be on screen while you're recording. You can always minimize it. And pretty much everything that you want to do, you can do just with hotkeys. So you don't actually have to have that panel up at all. So in conclusion, when it comes to OBS versus Camtasia Recorder 9, I feel that in general they're more specified at different areas. I do really like the screen draw tools in Camtasia, and if you're doing a screencast video like I'm doing right now, you can definitely argue that a more simplistic tool like Camtasia Recorder, plus having the screen draw um, option available, would give you an easier setup for the typical user who just wants to screencast. But if recording games or having complicated setups is your thing, where you might have in three, four, five different video sources in your one recording, for instance, if you have overlays, if you need to add in Twitch alerts or anything else of that nature, and especially if you're going to be live streaming, then open broadcaster software would be the way to go. So in terms of price, the full Camtasia Studio package that comes with the video editor and the screen recorder is $200, or more specifically, $199 for the personal copies. So that in itself can be a break it deal for many people. But Camtasia 9 does have a 30 day free trial, so there's really no harm in giving it a shot and seeing if you like it still. So lastly, I do want to point out that if you do go the open broadcaster software route and you need a video editor, you could try DaVinci Resolve 14 as a free alternative. It's what I'm typically using these days, and I find it really solid. Uh, their main version is completely free, the upgrade only gets you some of the extra features, but you can definitely do full featured videos using the base version of DaVinci Resolve. So I've been Chris and I hope in this video I've given you enough of a comparison there to make a choice on what you should go with. I definitely recommend trying both apps uh, out before you really dedicate yourself to one. OBS of course is free and there is a 30 day no credit card trial available for Camtasia Studio 9. So there's really no harm there. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content. In terms of available video formats, OBS also wins at this, being able to record to mp4.move, mkv, ts, flv, and uh, one I'm not really familiar with, m3u8 formats. Usually I just do mp4 there. Whereas in Camtasia Recorder, you can only do .trek and .avi.